What is up, YouTube? Welcome back. Uh, first of all, before we jump into this, uh, ignore the fan in the background. That is, if you can hear it, it does get a little hot in here, so I like to keep a fan on in order to remain cool. But today's video is going to be a follow-up to something, because I think about a week or two ago, I made a video called Revisiting Vlair, and I said in that video, if this video reaches five likes, I'll talk about my experience while I was on Vlair, and that video got six likes, so... I'm going to be talking about my whole experience on Vlare TV, the platform itself. Now, some people may not like to hear this. If you're a diehard Vlare fanboy or fangirl, you're obviously not going to like my opinion at the end of this, but to be kind of honest, I really don't give a shit. This is just me explaining my whole uh, situation and how things went when I was on Vlare. So, I believe it was November 23rd. I created a Vlare account after deleting my old YouTube channel. Not deleting it, but removing every video from it because of the whole COPA thing. And uh, I had a bit of a rough start for about a month. Maybe a little bit under a month, but maybe about a month. And uh, I didn't really get anywhere. I got maybe like one to two views per video, except for my, hey, I'm new here type of video, which got about 15 views. But um, things seemed to be going well at the start. I didn't exactly enjoy a lot of the content that people put out on Vlare, because a lot of it was just uh, animations and this and that, and I wasn't exactly interested in animations, and a lot of the gaming content on there was lackluster to me. And by that, I'm not saying it was bad, I just don't think it was for me. But my buddy Gaming Francis and Trevor Winters uh, showed up in my life later, which I'll get to them later, but their gaming content is amazing. And that is an honest opinion I have, whether anyone likes it or not. And I'm talking about you, Rice, like in case you're watching this. But uh, things were going okay uh, at the start. Uh, then December 15th came around. I eventually made a video just sitting down, looking at my webcam, and talking about an opinion I had, where I was talking about, oh, Vlare is Vlare, not YouTube. And in that video, I was discussing how nobody should constantly keep comparing Vlare to YouTube, because it's a newer platform... It's not going to be as good as YouTube, if you think about it, because it's still new, it's still fresh, and it's not exactly as big as YouTube, but there is some positives to the platform, and there's some negatives, but it's like that for every single platform available for people to upload content on. Little did I know, that video was going to blow up. Uh, the video got like 100 to 200 views in a day, and it didn't stop growing from there. The video eventually reached around 15, not 15, but 1.5k views, and that video really blasted me into things, and just because of that video alone, I got about 40 to 50 followers on Vlare, which felt nice, to be honest, I thought it was, it was pretty nice, not gonna lie, but, you know, it is what it is, so, <laughs> after that, things were going well, every gaming video I'd upload, I'd get a decent amount of views. I didn't expect to get like a shit ton of views on Vlare because it was a smaller platform. What do you expect? Also, if you hear anyone like talking in the background, ignore it. The walls are kind of hollow. But things were going okay. I was getting about 5 through 20 views per video, which felt nice because it's better than getting 1 to 2 views per video. Also, my at the time girlfriend and really close friend to me, and I still consider her very close. I don't know if she, if she wants me to consider her girlfriend, but I'm still looking at it in my eyes because I still love her to death. If you don't know what I'm talking about, just look in the past few videos I made. It was like maybe five to ten videos ago I made a video called uh, A Full Explanation, Taking Responsibility. Uh, you'll, you'll get the gist of it, but we're not going to get into that right now. That, that's, that topic is done and over with. We don't need any drama that's going to make me feel genuinely depressed. But, uh, even she had a decent start, where she didn't upload much, but she had a decent following of 10 to 20 followers within a month. Which, I honestly think y'all should go give her more subscribers on YouTube. She currently has 19, so go to the description, click on her channel, and subscribe to her. She's at 19, let's get her to 25, or more. At least I'm hoping we can get her there. But things are going well for both of us, uh, until January. <laughs> Uh, through the rest of December, things felt pretty fucking good. I was growing, I was getting views, I got around 80 followers in total. And I was like, holy shit, this is amazing. I'm doing better on Vlare than I ever did on YouTube. 
Little did I know shit was going to change. Um, once January got there, like the first half of January, it felt fine, you know? There wasn't really anything wrong. It was just kind of a boring month at first. But uh, eventually, a whole bunch of people started to become toxic, and there was a lot of drama. Even one of the people, I believe he was a moderator, or a creator of the site, uh, there was a lot of controversy surrounding him, and there was just a shit ton of drama, and it really threw me off. Like, I didn't want to be a part of Lair uh, because of all that. It was really bothersome. Because I was so used to being to Vlair being more of a quiet platform. I didn't really see any drama. I didn't really see any negativity. Although I did see some shit posters from time to time. But they're shit posters. What do you really expect from them? They're not out to like cut off your balls or anything. That's just them doing their thing pretty much. And by that I don't mean them going after, after you and cutting off your balls. But shit posting. But all that drama started spewing up. And it really made me feel negative. So eventually from what I recall I did get into it with a few people, um, and it didn't exactly go well. I eventually got a little bit of hate myself, which the hate didn't bother me. I know how to accept criticism, I know how to accept hate, it is what it is. But a lot of the people on Vlair, the community started to really show a toxic side of them, which really bothered me, and in February I was like, you know what, fuck it, I'm done. So I, uh, after making a video saying that I was leaving the platform, a whole bunch of people shat on my video. Like it got dislike bombed the hell, uh, it got a shit ton of hate comments. And I think that is really pathetic on the community of Vlair's behalf. The reason why is because when you go to join Vlair, people are so happy and supportive and just really nice to you. But then when you decide to go to another platform or make a decision to move, people go off on you like you just killed their fucking children. And that is sad. That is like the most sad thing. And I hate that. So eventually I, I deleted it. And I also did have a secondary channel which was basically a commentary channel. Although that, there wasn't really much to talk about. There was a really thing, there was a really good thing that I was proud of because of the commentary channel. I would make some videos on a dude who was uh, viewbotting and me and uh, Trevor Winters would actually team up and this guy would get shut down. And it felt nice to do something positive for the platform itself. So after that, I kind of deleted both of the accounts because I didn't accept the negativity. But a little bit later, because I did um, make a YouTube channel, which is the current channel you're looking at right now. The one that this video is currently playing off of. Because um, I just wanted to kind of stick with YouTube. But then May came around. Not May, but uh, April came around. And I was like, hey, uh, I kind of want to give Valer a second opportunity. Honestly, I don't exactly remember the date. But I believe it was April through May. Hear me out. So when I came back to Vlair, like like I thought, people were very accepting when I made a video saying, Hey, hi Vlair, it's me. And the video got over 100 to 200 views right when it got uploaded. Although there was a, like one comment that was cocky saying, Oh, I thought you hated Vlair, LMAO. Like, shut the fuck up, dude. No one cares. But, <laughs> but everyone else was kind of nice about it. But then I got into a little bit of beef with someone known as Ricelig, and he was just kind of being a dick to everybody on Vlair. He said that Vlair was going to die out, the content on there is lackluster, not even lackluster, it was like scum of the earth, and he was like trashing everybody for the content that they created. And if it wasn't for him doing a certain thing, which I will get a part of here in a second, I would have just ignored it and not gave a shit, because I was like, you know dude, you're not really worth my time. But throughout the process of watching the one video that he made, he actually took a shot at my buddy Francis. And I was like, oh, that's not cool. Gaming Francis is like the nicest person on Vlair. So I was genuinely bothered by that. So I made a video responding to his claims. And don't get me wrong, the, there was a few videos created throughout the whole thing. He made three videos, and I believe I made about four. Yeah, he made about three, I made about four. But in the first two videos I did, I was, like, very angry. So I was I was obviously, like, cocky. I was not happy with how he was. I, I was just being pissy, if you think about it. And uh, a lot of people considered me arrogant, considered me cocky. And that got me a tiny bit of hate. But overall, I was there was still more people on my, slot, on my side compared to Rice Legs. So I felt like I was winning a beef here. And uh, he made a response, which is... Very, very cocky. Honestly, I thought my response was cocky to his original video. No, his response was just full-on arrogant and pathetic. 
And it really showcased how much of a dickhead that he was. And um, then I made another video responding, but that one really showcased to me how much of a cocky person I was being. And then I actually made an apology saying, I'm not trying to be toxic. It's just sometimes I let my emotions get the best of me. But a lot more people were still supportive of me compared to him. A lot of people hated him, but there's still a lot of people going over to his channel saying, oh, he deleted his account, so apparently you won. No, it's not that he won. It's that I didn't want to be on a toxic platform full of toxic people. Now, not everybody on Vlair is toxic, but quite a bit of the community itself is toxic, whether they like it or not, and they can come fight me if they want to disagree on it. Now, after that, uh, the, the, the beef between me and Rice like, kind of like quieted down, like dumbed down. He made three videos, I made like maybe a little bit, and a lot of people were on my side compared to his, at, like I just said, for the millionth fucking time. But right when that was over, there was another person who stepped in and got into another beef with me. Now, the big difference between Rice Leg and this person is Rice Leg never deleted his channel. Rice Leg was never uh, really defensive. He wasn't really, um, oh, uh, I did it because of this reason and I'm like scared and this and that. Like, Rice Leg was just like, yeah, so what? I fucking did it. Deal with it. And that's one thing I respect out of Rice Leg is he's more of a straightforward person. But this person that I'm speaking of now is known as Shark Plays PDF and um, commented on my video about Rice Leg saying, oh, I'm so glad that this beef is taking over Vlair instead of me and another content creator's um, issues from the past, meaning I no longer have negativity on my side. And uh, I responded like, Okay, and? And he's like, you really should, like, hear it from me. I'm, like, one of the most positive people here. I'm, like, the most loved here. And he was very egotistical. And when I told him that I looked at the video that was, like, a rant against him, he, oh, my God, this dude was so fucking annoying. Like, when, I, when you think of the word delusional, this dude was flat-out delusional, like, fucking mentally stumped. But I made two videos on him because he kept, like, starting shit. He never vi made any videos himself because he said, Oh, I'm bigger than you. I don't want to make content. But he would come and hate on almost any video that I created. And I get that. When it comes to YouTube, you're going to be hated by similar people over and over again when you get relevant. But when you're a smaller content creator with about 30 to 40 followers on a new count, of course there's going to be one person that's going to try to ruin you. And that's what Shark Plays did. So I made those videos, and eventually, he started doing this thing where he started being like, oh, I'm a simp, lol, oh, I'm like this, oh, I'm so immature, and then, like, kind of just being cocky, which eventually led to him deleting his account as a whole, because he couldn't take the criticisms of others. Now, I don't normally approve of cancel culture, but I do approve of people being called out and taking responsibility for their actions. I feel like that's uh, the best thing that can be done. Ugh, excuse me. Now, after all that happened, I just got really bored of Vlair, and the community was still showing a very toxic side of it. So then I eventually just deleted the channel as a whole again, and here, and then in May, I made a video called About Vlair, which has over 100 views on the channel, by the way. Thank y'all for that. I do appreciate that. Although, why the fuck does that video have so much views? I don't fucking know. But... Yeah, that was my whole experience on Vlair. Uh, the community turned out to be toxic as hell. Even though they don't like to admit it, it's just factual. A lot of people are very toxic, and they don't even like to admit it. They don't like to take responsibility. They're going to wear this mask when you first join, but when you decide you want to do something different, they're going to blast you for it and make it out to be like you're the scum of the earth. But there are some nice people on Vlair. Like I said, Gaming Francis, uh, Trevor Winters, Tailsley Miles Fox, I think his name was, um, and a few other people. There were some really nice people, but there's just so much more toxic people that outweigh the kind people on Vlair. And a thing I also hated about Vlair is Vlair would crash so much. That was like the, one of the most annoying things about using Vlair is... Whenever I'd go on the platform, sometimes it would crash and it would be down for days. And then it'd be up for an hour and you'd be like, oh, fuck yeah, dude, it's open. And then it crashes an hour later and it's down for like another day, which is like the most annoying fucking thing about Vlair. 
But my honest opinion on Vlare overall is it needs to improve. Uh, the community needs to pull their head out of their fucking ass, not be toxic, and learn to respect other people's decisions. Because not everybody's going to remain on a platform forever. That's like saying you're forever going to be a Twitch streamer, but you decide to go to YouTube because there's a lot of issues on Twitch and then people blasting you for it. So, yeah. The community definitely needs to fucking improve, and the platform itself needs to improve as well. The crashing is bullshit, and uh, there's some drama with the moderators on the platform, but overall, I just don't really care about Flair. I give it like a 3 out of 10. If it improved, I would give it a higher ranking, and there are some really cool things about Vlair. If you don't believe me, go look at the video I made called Revisiting Vlair that I uploaded like Sunday or last Sunday. You will understand how cool Vlair can be. It's just... There's a lot of negatives that weigh down. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure to go subscribe to Nikki Ciphers in the description like I mentioned earlier. She would heavily appreciate it. And uh, go subscribe to my buddy Gaming Francis and Trevor Winters, which will also be linked in the description below. So thanks for watching, and I will see you all in the next video.